This is a real review of basic math tools and solving a trade related problem. Our trade related problem is we're preparing a layout for a public washroom, which involves domestic lavatories or sinks on the countertop. The labs will be placed into the countertop. There should be an even amount of space between labs so from lab to lab and that same amount of space should also be from the lab on the one side to the edge and the lab on the other side to the edge that all those spaces should be even and there should also be an even amount of space from the front of the countertop to the front of the lab and that same amount of space between the back of the lab to the back of the counter so here's a layout of what we just talked about. We have our rectangle shape, which is our countertop. And what we're trying to do are two things. Put these three domestic lavatories into the countertop and then leave equal spacing from the left-hand side to the left of the first lab, between the first lab and the second lab, that same amount of space again, between the second and third lab, the same amount of space again, and then the same amount of space from the last lab to the right hand side of the counter. And they've all been indicated with A's because we want all those four spaces to be the exact same amount. The other thing that we were asked to do was to maintain the space at the front. So the front to the front of the lab, that amount of space there, to be the same amount at the back of the lab to the back of the counter. And those are being represented by the B. So a little space, we want both of them to be exactly the same, those two spaces. We also want to solve for our layout so we can help to lay it out as far as the countertop being cut to get those sinks in. We're going to, once we have, have figured out our A's and our B's, then we're going to calculate what our C1 dimension is. And that C1 dimension is from the left-hand side over to the center of the sink. We want to go from left-hand side of the sink to the center of the first lavatory. Then we're going to find our C2, so left-hand side of the counter, all the way over to the center of our second lab. Then we want to find our C3, which is from the same left-hand side of the counter, all the way over to the center of the third lavatory. So again, we're looking to solve the A, the four equal spaces between each labs, as well as between the lab and the edge of the countertop. We're trying to solve the B. B is the equal amount of space at the front, from the front of the counter to the lab, and then from the back of the lab to the back of the counter. We want those two spaces to be the same amount. They're represented by the B. We're trying to find the C1 dimension again. That's from the left edge of the countertop over to the center of the first lab. The C2 is the measurement from the left edge of the countertop over to the center of the second lab. And in our C3, our C3 is our measurement from the left side of the counter over to the center of the third lavatory. So here's the diagram again of our three lavatories into our countertop. We'll need a couple other dimensions to get us going here in order to find the A and the B, the C1, the C2, and the C3. First up, we need to know the overall length of that countertop from one end down to the other end, and that's represented by our L. We'll also need to know how deep our countertop is, and that's gonna be represented by the D. The other two measurements we need to know is of our domestic laboratory, which is represented way down here at the bottom of the screen. We need to know how wide our lab is, which can be represented by the X, and how deep it goes, which can be represented by the Y. So to solve for A, we need to get the overall length, which we know, and then subtract three times X. So three X is three widths of the, the laboratory, and then divide all that by four, because we want to have four equal spaces in and between and around those three laboratories. Solve for B, 
be we're put we're trying to get two spaces the front and the back the same so we take our d dimension the depth of our counter and we subtract y which is our depth of our laboratory and then divide by two we're going to have two spaces two equal spaces now to find for c1 c1 we're going to add a to half of x or x divided by 2 so we have a and then half of x will get us to the center of the first lab c2 c2 we're going to take a add to x add another a and then add half of x so again off the diagram we got an a we're going to add an x we got an a we're going to add half of an x c3 c3 we're going to add a plus x plus a plus x plus another a and then half of x so on the diagram we from left to right we have an a we're going to add an x we're going to add another a we're going to add an x we're going to add another a and then half of x there are more than one way to find c1 c2 and 3 this is just one of the options